So today I wanted to try the four by four challenge again, which is where you just try to build a house. That's four by four, the whole house. You can go up and down, but it has to stay four by four. And I have a really fun idea on how to make this cute. Also, it is storming like freaking crazy today. And the power keeps going out every time I try to record this. This is my fifth time trying. So <laughs> we will be saving a lot, okay? First things first, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, now here's my beautiful idea. Instead of going up, like I've done in the past, I think I'm gonna go down. So now we have a basement. And I really only need two floors for this. I feel really confident. And save. <laughs> Wouldn't want to lose my box. I'm gonna do an A-frame house today. I've never really done these before, but they're always so precious. And I've just sort of learned how to do them. And I think I'm gonna make the walls actually a little bit taller. So this doesn't look so puny when I'm done. And we just gotta make this line up. Not quite, not quite. There we go, <gasps> beautiful. And then we'll just make these a little shorter on the top. Whoa, hold on, that looks kind of cool. You could bring this all the way up and then it makes this little like double thing. Actually, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I don't think I like it. Anyways, we have made a triangle. I'm gonna move the whole thing off to like the side. We could put a cute pathway going up to it and stuff. But here's my beautiful idea. In here, we're going to have a kitchen and a dining room. And then downstairs, we're gonna have like a bedroom and a bathroom. So obviously we're not gonna have a living room situation or anything, but maybe I can try to make it homey. It's very small. Oh my gosh, we can put the little banners. <gasps> these are so precious. Actually, these blend in a little bit more. Oh my gosh, I love that color. <gasps> Isn't that just the cutest? That looks so cute. I really love that. Okay, then we're gonna need a door right in the middle. And then I'm thinking a little round window up here would make me the happiest girl in the world. And we could also use a big door. Well, a tall door. Something like that is super cute. I like, I'm like in love with this door, mostly because the color, that brown and that green and the stained glass, they do something to my heart. I just adore them. Stop. I think that takes up a little too much room inside. We need all the room we can get. See now the banners don't really match. Maybe if I make them green, I'm cool with that. You know what I might end up doing is making the house this green color and then changing the door, but let me just see what that looks like. Oh, it's giving log cabin. I mean, we do have this, which is actual log cabin. I don't know, I almost prefer that one. Again, the roof, <laughs> she's not really matching up but she's so cute. Okay, let's go with this one. I need to stop changing my mind. Trying to decide what kind of windows I should do is it's gonna be tough. I do know I want a round one up here. See, is that too big? It might be too big. Maybe the other one was the one. They also do have this in that green color. I could do something like that. And then maybe with some window boxes. That looks pretty cute. Or we could do this. Oh. Uh, I don't know, they both look good. Well, from the inside, that's what that looks like. And this is the other one. I don't know. <laughs> I genuinely don't know which one I like more. I'm gonna go with this one because it might be better for landscaping. Okay, that's looking very cute. It's giving very woodsy, so I'm gonna put like a lot of trees around. The only thing is, I'm not too sure about there being a back door. I mean, maybe? Because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a ladder. I guess nothing's gonna go in the middle. I already sort of have a plan for the layout in my mind. I want to have a little table there. And then on this side, we will have the kitchen. And I have two countertops there, a stove there, and a sink there. So you only really do have one prep station, but I, hopefully it's fine. <laughs> now, if we didn't have this here, we could put an island. Let me just see what that even looks like. I mean, it's, it's narrow. I wouldn't even say to do an island. I would just say to do like maybe, oh no, cause you can't get to that. Bring the door back. That's just what it's gonna be, okay? And then as for a trash can, listen, I, I, I don't think that there's really room for an indoor one. Unless I like push this over here and put it there, but that throws off the whole room. So that's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna put one outside and your Sims can just come out here and throw away their stuff. It's not like it's a very long walk. I think they'll be fine. Downstairs, my plan was to do a single bed because if I do a single bed, then I have lots of space for what I am planning in my brain. I wanna have a little bathroom there and then a desk over here. 
If I were to do a double bed, we couldn't do that. So single bed it is. So then we'll have a computer over here. We do actually have some room for uh, an in table. Not that it's like functional or necessary, but for like decor's sake. Maybe we could use like a really tiny one. Like this would go good. That takes up like literally no space. I don't know if I want to use this bed though. I'm not crazy about the patterns, but just for an example, we'll keep it there for now. A little lamp for some ambient lighting. Then for the bathroom, I think the only way I can really make this work is to use one of these showers and have it facing because these obviously don't fit. They're a little too big, but I think that that's fine. I think that's nice. It's functional. No, you don't have a bathtub, but it's all right. But like, that's a super cute layout. I really like this house. I think it's so cute. Obviously I need wallpaper and stuff and I'm gonna decorate it a little more, but that's the gist. Okay, I think downstairs is gonna be the pink room. Upstairs is gonna be the green room. And then the bathroom can have this gorgeous wallpaper. That might be too much pattern. I think it is. So I'm just gonna do a white herringbone. Gorgeous. My favorite mirror in the world. We'll do a gold toilet paper, very fancy. We spared no expense on this A-frame home. Oh my gosh, all the gold hardware is I'm just, I'm loving it, I'm literally obsessed with it. Let's throw in a little painting here. The pink is so cute. And then maybe a little hand towel over there. That is adorbs. All right, bathroom complete. That was really easy. As for the bed, I am gonna switch this one out. I'm not crazy about it. Oh, well that matches very well, doesn't it? I hardly ever use this bed. Let's use it. I'm loving the setup over here. Like with that color scheme and everything, I think it's so pretty. I think we could definitely add like a candle or something. We could add this little moon lamp up here. This has a little, it's a snack pack. It's got snacks in it. That's adorable. <laughs> I'm gonna put the like old retro cell phone on here. It's literally the cutest thing ever. I really wanna put these books up there. A little bit of trial and error trying to line this up. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, nope, they're floating. I thought I had it. <laughs> Almost. Am, are they still floating? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I guess they're gonna have to like clip a little because it's either they're floating or they're too low. Are they coming through the bottom though? No, okay, well that's good. <laughs> they look really tiny. There's gotta be a better way. I'm gonna put this big stack of books down here. I stack two on top of each other and then I put the one there. I love the way it looks, so cute. All right, my power went out. Let's see how much stuff I lost. Also now my game is running like a snail. So I don't know if my power going off over and over again is like corrupting this save file, but it's not looking great. So all, everything I just put here is gone. The, I don't even have the bed. Oh my God, we're running so slow now. Oh God, can you hear my generator? My power is currently off, but I have a generator, so we're good. Which bed was I using? I don't remember. <laughs> it was this one, I found it. And save. <laughs> my game's really lagging. I don't know what's going on. I know I had this up here. And I had some stacks of books down here. I know I had this plant here. I'm literally saving after every single click. I'm taking no more chances. You know what? Let's do magazines this time. That could be fun. Where's my little baby plant? Oh, it's such a baby. I'm gonna squeeze it back there. It barely fits. My snack pack. You know what? My snack pack's kind of hidden back there. Do I even bother? Maybe I put the snack pack up top. Okay, saving again. I'm gonna put some clutter up there. Looking good. My game is still lagging a lot. I don't know what's going on, but I'm skewed. I am gonna put these little stars up here cause come on, this is so cute. I think it would be really cute to have a little rug underneath this, this little fuzzy one. It rocks my world. I use it literally in every build. I'll bring in some of that green from upstairs. I'm gonna put this little painting above the bed. It's like literally it's Oh God, my game's so laggy. It's so cute. Why is my game so laggy? <laughs> Mom, come pick me up, I'm scared. Oh dude, a mirror would be so nice. Like a full length one. I can't have a leaning one. I think that would take up too much space. Like, well, you know, yeah, it kind of does. But maybe I could get one that's like on the wall. Yeah, something like this. Oh, though, that's perfect. And I'm pretty sure your Sims can walk past that with literally no issues. Love it. Maybe I'll put a pretty painting there too. Okay, so I think down here is completely done. Save. So up here, I really love those paintings. So I'm gonna put two more there. I wonder if there are like some cute little curtains I can use for these. I do like these little guys. 
I mean, I know that these sort of work, <laughs> sort of. They do clip through the wall a bit though. If I raise them up just a little bit, I think that's super cute. You know what? I never even thought about mirroring this on the other side at all. Mostly because there's a refrigerator <laughs> right there. So like, maybe I won't do that, but it was definitely a thought. Oh, and then that covers that window. Mm-hmm, great. <laughs> Looking really great. Okay, so how about we don't do cabinets because that's just not working. We can do shelves instead. Oh my gosh, this shelf already has stuff on it. That's what I love to see. <laughs> Okay, if I push them together like that, that's pretty cute. I don't know if it looks weird like with them sort of having the same exact stuff on them though. Dang it. See, I really wanna put decor over here, but I can't because that's like the only functional cabinet that you can use to prepare food. Okay, but the teapot elephant has to be included. I'm sorry, there's no choice. We can squeeze in some plates over there. The flowers over there, so cute. The utensil set, it fits but barely. My little plant never lets me down. Okay, that is looking so cute. I think it would be nice to put something on top of the fridge. I have an idea in mind. I just don't know where it is. <laughs> da, 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 It's a little cast iron guy. We've probably put two things up here, actually. What else would I put on top of the fridge? Would another plant be crazy? Because that's kind of my first thought. I don't think that looks crazy. Okay, we can definitely get like a runner in here. Oh, that is so cute. It's like, what if I size it down one? I feel like it needs to be like a runner. I really do. Even though I love that rug with all my heart and soul. <gasps> Wait, this rug is kind of perfect. And I love the fringe. I even kind of like the red. I could do the same over here. Hee <laughs> I love a sconce. They're so cute. Put some sunflowers there. And you know, it's a real shame that I can't fit like a tall plant anywhere. That's what's missing, but I really do have no room. So I think that's the house pretty much complete. I do think that I am going to add some lights on the outside. I'll bring that around the back. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring this back window back here since there's no windows anywhere else. I've made a lake. <laughs> I don't know, I just like went quiet for a little bit and now I have a lake in the backyard. Lots of trees. Okay, I've lined this with grass. I don't know if I wanna like fill it in or not. Like have all of this be grass. You know what, maybe like around the edges, yes. But then here, I think it might be really cute to have like a picnic table or something. Oh wow, well hold on. The picnic table's a little bigger than I thought. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was gonna be a whole lot smaller. You know what though, I think it'll still fit. If I remove like a couple of these or just like scoot it down, we should have space for this. I could also like move these bushes to like the sides. I think that's cute. And then we could maybe have like an outdoor light. I'm just gonna size this light down. It's so pretty. I'll make it brown, put a little plant on the table. This is looking cute. I might just add like some smaller ferns around the, around these. And then basically I'm gonna add a lot of dirt. So I think I'm literally just going to do the same thing in the front. And honestly, I think that is done. So here is the outside. Here is it at night. It's very, very scary. This looks so cute. The back is like really fun. I like that. I'm glad I added a lake. It just felt right. I don't know. Well, here is the inside. Very happy with how this turned out. I think it's so cute. You go downstairs, you have your bedroom and your little office space, and you've got your little bathroom. I think it's so cute. This is definitely the best four by four house that I've ever built. I just, I think this is the best I have ever done. I have finally figured out how to make an A-frame house. Took me long enough. But that is gonna be all for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.